Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games. And do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you, you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below, leave a like, and subscribe with the no locations on. But until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. Now for the only reason now. Chapter 12. Our secret. Mass, are you around? I wanted to ask you stuff, something about the British Sea. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's fine, we can talk another time. Sorry. Been a couple of cra been a crazy couple of days. No problem, can I call you? Haven't I used that to float your way? Why didn't you just say flat? Why? Corey and I are, are about to hit the water. We're kind of getting in 15. Fun. Call me after? Promise. Hey, Victoria. Yes, Mass? I have something I want to ask you, too. It's personal. Oh no, you're not mad at me or something, are you? Nothing like that. Talk soon. Ciao. So that was Mass and Chloe. Ma Mass and talking at Toya. Toya and Mass having a conversation, basically. As a placing herself on the waterproof case, Mass joined her fiance in the kitchen area of the cabin. Both girls were wearing swimsuits and t shirts and were making final. Publications and for the start two hour kayaking adventure. They finished packing and were leaving from the mini weekend vacation after their time on the water. The girls hopped on the ferry with their belongings and made their way back to the mainland. After loading the car, they picked up the two person vessel they had reserved and lost near the steps and past bridge. Did you? Duo paddled around Kyok Pass in Loki Bay, joking and spashing each other while having the time of their lives enjoying one another's company. There was a newfound freedom in their minds, after securing the happy future they both deserve. Finally, they paddled back and hit the world after returning the kayak, 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 kayak. After returning the kayak, I'm exhausted. The photographer really the the as as her eyes grew fairly. She so asked Corey to drive home so, could, so she wouldn't have to worry about falling asleep behind the wheel. It was uncommon for the taller girl to drive the couple around these days, since Mass insisted on taking the wheel most times. Well, we had one hell of a weekend, love. It was literally life changing. Look at everything that had happened. We finished the photo shoot. We made a, a fucking baby. We saved our daughter. Then we kayaked. Mass noticed a mysterious grin materializing on her partner's face. She already knew the subject of the. The goals in this comic. I also walked your sassy body over and over again. Of course you're exhausted. I'm damn good. There was a time the girl in the passenger seat would force and feel embarrassed about her feeling off dirty mouth, but now she didn't mind it. Even though her pre previous reactions were more on the seepest side, she always loved her favorite person in seat to pull her out of her cell. The more Chloe dotted on the girl and showed enthusiasm about her and her body, the more Master's confidence fell. The man at work over and made eye contact with her beautiful companion. A trickery grin moved from above her chin. 
You think you walk my body? The sleepy girl goaded. Well, sure, it was great, but I heard the sounds of you were making this worry context. I totally won that last round. Hands down. The student has become the teacher. To say, Caulfield. To say. However, you have forgotten one thing. I'll tell you everything you know. So, technically, I still win. But all she was driving, Chloe had that work in her eyes. And Matt only saw when the girl was deciding if she was going to attack her. She also had to love a bit her bottom lip and unable severed her lips and a barely noticeable circular motion in her seat. It was like perfect... His little sidling doctor fairy, and the small girl knew it didn't take much to get her blue hair beauty worked up. You can't even focus on driving, Co. You want me right, n right here, right now, don't you? She so slowly took a strain, straight strain of loose hair behind the driver's ear, making sure the bust area near her neck and jawline. As her Fingers lightly crusaded sensitive sin, her partner severed and glanced in her direction, shaking her head. Awkward contention between the girl and the world. Besides, as long as I'm with you, I'm always a winner. God damn, Mass, you are missing up a very extrusive contest of heart as hell and goopy as shit. You know what that means to me. That's it. I'm about to pull this car over and destroy you. And... She so moved her head in the in the backwards trolling motion and kissed the head hand of her season over. I love your beautiful heart so much. I'm the one who hit the drop part over here. So I know that your body is smoking hot too. Before we pounce on each other, I didn't know what happened when you went to the future. I know I said it didn't matter since your first things, but I can't stop thinking about it. Thanks for the buzzkill, dork. Well, he sent it her on in hand, one finger pointing outward and poked the coot brunette partner, passing her on the upper arm. Fine, I spill the beans. I just wanted to enjoy a moment and not feel like we had to assess that state right away. Our daughter is safe as long as we do what we are supposed to do going forward. Matt's glazed back towards her partner, confused by the last part. Even though you said it didn't matter, you know that I know you better than you know yourself, right? That poke hurt, babe. We're so gonna get it when we get home. You have no idea. She so wondered what her partner meant by what we supposed to do, but she figured it would get be explained soon enough. Oh yeah, what am I gonna do get it? Massy mass, a speaking, and I'm doing. A luring smug hinted at the idea that Chloe might be hoping for a yes. We just have to see. I'm just ready to be done with all this crazy shit. Can we just have our lives back? You know, be normal and boring? Or will there be another impossible thing we have to overcome? Nothing is boring or normal with us, though, is it, love? But your mass and core repairing comes with an ass load of responsibility and other crazy shit. But fuck, it's so worth it even though I don't know if I've, I ever really felt like I deserve it. Deserve you. You make me feel special every single time. You look at me. You look at me. I can feel the warmth in your heart with every glance. Grace. Understand the yin and yang set. And I know we this defined science that we lived in and made a baby to her, but sometimes I feel unworthy of you. 
You're so perfect, and I'm so not. Chloe Price, you are perfect. After all this time, you have to know how amazing you are. I'm some geek who enjoys photography and fell hopefully in love with my best friend. Without you, I'm nobody. It's your confidence and love that broke down my walls and made me who I am. Please don't doubt yourself, babe. You've always been so self-aware and knew exactly who you were. Mass quickly yawned and started to lose control of her thoughts, thinking about her future bride's love. I thought I knew who I was, the brunette responded, until you fucking left me after my dad died. Wait, what? Master waited back to reality and confused when we look over at her fiance. So he noticed a singing man that figured bobbing up and down. As Corey strammed the gas pedal down and her truck jumped to the next gear. The street was past them as the world dashes seemed more like a sort of straight line. You abandoned me, Mass. You left me behind to walk in that hellhole of a town. You said was piece of shit. Now this is me finally paying you back. Who the fuck leaves their best friends like that? Soulmate? Fuck that! a piece of garbage to you, aren't I? Aren't I, bits? No, Crow. God, no, of course not. Don't say that. Please, word, words made her heart sink and felt like she couldn't breathe as her chest tightened and her throat retra retracted. Fuck you. It's all true. I fucking hate your guts. Master's cell phone trip, and to welcome any distressing from the hurt she was experiencing. Through motionly and watery eyes, she typed in the password and opened her chest. Her eyes was partly wiry, and she couldn't believe what she saw. Unknown Cinder I know who you are, Time Master. You must save everyone. Oh. What is happening? I wonder. Master's body started shaking, shaking rapidly as he heard a muscle voice in the distance calling her name. Ah! Selfie raised her, her head from the passenger her window and saw her fiance's concerned face right in the front of her. So sitting nearly on top of the narrow wake oh, Go in her, her in the passenger seat. The subway was parked on the shoulder of the highway, and the keys were in the middle console. Mass, are you back? Damn, you were making some terrible noises and sound like you were having another nightmare. Been a while since you had a really bad one. The company girl stressed her own arms around her. Freckled fiance and Swiss, pressing their bodies firmly together. When the night nails were at their peak, the warmth from her perfect person always seemed to be the inner adult to chase darkness from her head. Fuck! It was awful, Crow! She couldn't hold back the tails that had been t freckling to let loose. All she could hear in her mind were the horrible things her best friend said to her in the dream, echoing on a loop. The pure sat in silence for several moments. A distance between wakefulness and the nightmare has increased. Mass began putting the dream streakers behind her. I got you, love. There's no need to worry. We've done this hundreds of times. How much I love you and how deeply we're connected. This is real. We have here, right now, is reality. Nothing else matters but us. Some of Corey's words had be become part of their wider formation when the night nails were at the worst. You can sit here as long as you like. She stippled and pushed herself more weight, letting go of her blue-haired soulmate in an attempt to gather herself. I'm good. 
I think. This one was different than the others. I was caught off guard. They were encouraging me to try the light little reconnaissance exercises before it came on so fast. Usually there's like a very noticeable gray horizon or one that separates the nightmare from reality when I fall asleep. I don't always recognize it, but this one was sits together seamlessly. It felt so damn real. Your gift tripping me about leaving for Seattle when we were kids. And you actually said you hated me. Besides losing you, your hate is what I feel the most. I'm sure there was this, this shy, irritated girl that would never really forgive herself for abandoning you coming to the surface. I know it doesn't necessarily help to say it, but we've been through this hundreds of times, a thousand times. We both know you were 14 years old and your parents made you, made you leave. You never abandoned me. I know that for a while now. We were always together, even when we were apart. We masked and Chloe, you know. The, the girl's eyes locked, one pair of anchors, but less taken from the night now. And other pair of whole foreign and her footing. Four years old, when the duo locked eyes, a magnetic energy encapsulated their surroundings. The world bleed from the view, and all that is scissor was each other. Without warning, Mass flew one leg over her partner's lap and placed his hand on the opposite cheeks. She pressed her lips against the girl. She was shadowing and passionately kissed her. The tongue strolled around each other's mouth, playing their own secret game of tag. The brunette withdrew and Mass leaned back. She licked the lips so she could taste her partner's kiss one more time. I love you so fucking much, babe. I'm so sorry you have to deal with my nightmares. Maybe one day they'd be gone and we can stop worrying about them. Don't you dare apologize to me, Mass. You're my everything. For sentness and health, right? To get through this like we have the rest of the sit that's been f thrown at our way. Following a second smooth, the girls felt comfortable enough to get back in their separate seats and back on the world. When did I pass out? I don't even remember what, what we were talking about. Well, you said you were hopelessly in love with me, then I heard soothing, snowing. If things were a tad bit different, it would be funny as shit. I'm just saying. You'll proclaim your love for me, then you'll fall asleep. That's hilarious. I actually laughed out loud until I heard you struggling. I called your name and struck you. You didn't wake up. I had to pull over. You had me worried as fucked. Yeah, I guess that would be pretty funny if a stupid nightmare wasn't involved. It's been about a week since my last one, and a week further since the previous one. Maybe eerily they go away completely. But if not, i always be here for you. We're in this thing together. Forever. Chloe reached down from the steering wheel and then walked her fingers with the girl beside her, holding hands as they approached their home. So, what happened in the future? Mass asked, hoping it would be f a fairly short and sweet response. She was still talking out from the weekend and now what that her nerves were settling from the night now. So it was feeling sleeping again. The suspicious man we saw was actually a wizard psycho. I'm guessing his organization is like fucking crazy and said about reproduction and babies. He overheard the future was talking about our connection and how our baby was conceived. We can keep life without men, it sort of flows a wince into the god's idols. I think they'll probably watch us for years until finally deciding to take, take her out. Speaking of, this has to be the last time we talk about it, yeah? It's just to be, be between us. It's not work the wish to say anything else. Damn it, Chloe. 
of the greatest secret in human history. You have to never speak about it? That's so fucked up. I was thinking about telling our parents someday when we when we order. Mouse paws instructed as a curious thought crossed her mind. Ashley, what are we going to tell my parents and David? They believe we went through our, through the Ivy Repars and went without talking to them first? Shit. Even worse, would they believe, um, I let a guy, ew, no, gross. Yeah, that is super gross. I don't know, love, but we'll figure out how to address it. Everything will work out. She looks just like both of us, though. She's so beautiful and tall like you. Has my dorky freckles. Hey, don't imply your freckles are a bad thing. Every we'll single one of them. We're going to have names for them. Very smart and the and it's the lesson with both eyeballs raised, killing Hori and her laugh. You're such a d weirdo. That's in front of what? Before bursting in laughter. But you're my weirdo. The girl showed a funny moment in a light peck before pouring into the driveway. Uh, excuse me. They exit the girl car and unloaded their bags in full graphic gear. Ron and Sri, the gated master's mom and dad, and took their belongings upstairs. Where he did mass fall asleep before taking a shower. As he didn't like the idea of laying behind cream seats with our freshly cleaned body to mouse. Strangely, it didn't bother her when her partner didn't bathe before bed. She just loved being next to her. The younger girl took her time washing, probably spending more time than she intended. The warm water felt great hitting and warming off her body. She looked down at her stomach, imagining what it was going to be like going through the beautiful parts process of pessimism. She tenderly whipped her belly in a circle of emotion with the palm of her hand and smiled, more than the idea of having a mini version of herself emerging from within. She so decided to have a piece of chloe inside of her. She felt like she was, about, was exactly where she was meant to be. Pulling back the coin and locating her towel, the sickly clean girl dried off and shut her pajamas on. She grabbed her cell phone from the bathroom countertop and checked for messages. After hearing her password and not her phone, she, she noticed she had two missed calls from Victoria. Damn! The fuck could go more to her first enough for wiping the fog from the mirror. You forgot to call her back, Caulfield. That's where I she spoke to herself where in infesting blue hair with three aunts were years. The older they were together as they observed, the more they rubbed off on one another. Matt, come on come out of here. My partner called through the bathroom door. Your parents made lasagna. Dude, fucking lasagna. The girl in, in the pajamas opened the door as he Go to herself. Why do I love the way you do it, everything? Like, the way you even tell me the food is ready? I love every word that comes from your mouth, babe. Because you're in love, Mastain. The father was spotted with a caring smile on his face, standing in the room with two plates full of delicious, the delicious and Italian dish in the sand. Your mother jumped in the cellar, but she, but she wanted me to bring you to some dinner. Would have left some garlic knocks. I got a little carry laid. Ryan laid the plates on the dresser, kissed his daughter and cheek, then exited the room, closing the door behind him. Your dad is super cool, super mass. He doesn't even look down at me anymore when I say fuck. He took a grin form on her face as she stand her best friend from head to toe. I'm sorry, love, but I don't know if I would have a Zona or you for dinner. Well, my dad literally just left the room. You're such a hornball at our 
all the time. Chloe is a pervert. Chloe is a pervert. <laughs> Chloe is horny. Chloe is always horny. Chloe, stop being horny. It's been a full day since we hook up. Will you tell me? If I started kissing you right now and made my way down from your lips to your belly button, you would stop me from going further? Well, I mean, no, of course not. But come on, he does love. Let's eat first. That's what I'm talking about. Eating! Chloe Caulfield Price. You know what you have a such a pervy mind. <laughs> oh boy. Again, Chloe is always horny and a pervert. <laughs> Chloe, not being perv and a, and a per horny. I didn't know why Chloe's dirty mouth still caught her off guard. It didn't embarrass her anymore, but it still surprised her from time to time. Truth was, she enjoyed the way her fiance tricked his word around to steal the clever punk she always loved. Oh, damn! I love the sound of our names together. If you're going to stop turning me on, you're doing a piss poor job. You chose the name. I would have been fine just taking yours. Her partner started kissing her neck and dragging her tongue along the area just below her earlobe. It's tough to say no to you sometimes. Mass admitted, pulling away and headed towards her dinner on the dresser. Then, don't resist! The tall, alluring girl grabbed her lover around the waist and pulled her their bodies right together. You work, You know how sissy you are right now, well, right now Massimus. I'm in pajamas! What's the sussy about this work? I disagree! You're perfect! Can't see it when you look in the mirror? You're officially a blind person. Mass didn't resist as Chloe slowly ran the fingers of one hand through her still damp brown hair, and she started pulling only at the waist waistband of her gym swords with the other. Wait, Chloe? So the girl whispered. Just wait a little longer. I want, I want you so badly, but we really need to talk to you about something first. The brun brunette rolled her eyes and reluctantly pulled away. She took her head and smiled and grabbed both of Mass's arm. Good thing you're cute. You're damn worth the wait, love. I'll wait, I'll wait forever for you. I need your opinion on something about Victoria. She's changed a lot since we were in school, and she's a little fucked up like we were from the storm week since we're having one wedding party. What are your thoughts on including her? I struggled the girls shut up on the side of the bed, all 20, 20 fingers still in a lock. Her legs hang over the side and her fiance were crossed beside her. I gotta be honest, before we had had once with her last week, I was stuck about having any sort of friendship with her. So this was a complete back piss back in your in, in the day. So like you see mowed out some now, but by the way, did you not see call me Kari? Does it be a piss when we were sixteen? Anyway, that doesn't matter. If it make you happy, we should invite her. What the hell? As the Chloe agreed, Mass wrapped her small arms around the love her eyes and kissed her cheek. I need to call her back before it gets too late. She wanted to ask me something earlier. I had two missed calls from her while I was in the sour. Wonder how she react when I ask. Guess I saw her tonight too. You know what? I'm gonna take a long, nice long bath. Do we still have... So have those so so those bath bombs you got last Christmas? 
I want to relax and smell sissy for you when I get out. But a double bounce of his eyeballs and kiss, a kiss on her best friend's hand. The blue hill girl disappeared in the bathroom, so I need to go door behind her. I heard Corey firmly around in the cabinets and door, followed by s the sound of water turning on. After she heard the girl step into the bath, she located her cell phone and returned with Toya's call. They ran only one once, and her former mate was on the line. Hey, Max, I'm so glad you called. So I could bud you today. But Toya seen generally grabbed the hair advice. It may have been the most excited she had, had heard the girl sound in regard to herself. Sorry. Most of her memories of the Chase Base owner involving her singing sometimes even hateful tone. That's a song. But so refreshing to hear what hear from her. It's not a problem. So it took so long to call you back. The past few days have been a whirlwind. Calling, calling the prior days a whirlwind felt like a vast understatement. I know your wedding is coming up, but what I want to stress are details about the way I see in your appearances. Per concert, as you know. You have a meet and greet with donors and VIPs or once this week. Wing day, you have a social appearance over owners delay in wine, just to make up with our persons. We have to submit food process requests for a specific process at least three weeks in advance now. I was wondering if there was anything you have specifically want us to include for both appearances. We want to make a big time photographer so I feel comfortable and welcome. Um, but Toya, I don't really care at all. The way you usually get will work. Just make sure your guests are happy and I'll be fine. It made me, it made me smile hearing her former nemesis going all out of her way to accommodate her. Damn it, Caulfield! Oh no! What did I do? It's just, I don't know. How are you so nice and humble? If anyone in the world has earned the right to be a bis, it's you. I know I would be the one, and if I had the same sense you're having, there was an awkward silence that followed her last words. I guess you're this special mask. I don't sound zum. I'm proud to know you. Oh, thanks, Victoria. What well, means a lot. I don't really know how to respond, though. I did want to ask you a question about a different subject. There's something else I s used to know first. Your recipe is revitalizing my parents' gallery. We faced tough times the last few years, and having you here is changing things. I don't just mean for the gallery itself, although we have more than concluded succession sales since the M3 announcement. But you mean so much to me. Victoria's voice caught for a moment, then she continued. I haven't had anyone to talk to besides Jessica since, well, you know, since OK Bay was destroyed. Since reconnecting with you and Corey has been really good for me, us everyone I cared about. It's been painful to be all alone. I'm so lonely, Mass. Oh, Victoria. Mass felt her eyes beginning to water as he heard the girl sniffle. I had no idea how much pain you were in. David told us he kept in contact with you and you were, weren't doing well. I didn't really know how tough it had been. If I could hurt you right now, I would. She paused for a second to wipe the two tears that had fallen. One from each sides. I considered you as a friend. I hope you know that. That's why I wanted to talk to you too. Chloe and I want you to be our, in our wedding. I mean, one wedding party and we would be honored if you would join us. Victoria couldn't hold back any longer. She opened his sob into the phone. Following her, she cried. Matt didn't respond, allowing the girl at the other end of the call to get it all out of her system. 
I'm sorry. So we put it in the lowered but clear voice. I feel terrible about who I was in high school, and I feel like I've been living with consequences for my asses. It's a piece of shit. I know that, but the girl I was isn't who I am anymore. So her friend continued to pour her heart out. Max couldn't help but considered how tough it would be to have been in Victoria's spot. She had a legacy to try and live up to. And she lost everyone and everything she had ever known. If Chloe hadn't been there for Max, there's no telling how or where she would have ended up. They still love for each other, help form them into the best versions of themselves. Victoria didn't really have anyone, anybody for support the entire time. This made Mass feel sick to her stomach. She started kicking herself for not being there for the girl after the storm. You are definitely not the same person, Victoria. You have to let yourself off the hook. We were just dumb high schoolers, no, not knowing set. I should have reached out sooner. I'm the one who should be apologizing, not you. Let's know we won't make the same mistakes again. You are, are, you are our friend. You will never be alone again. Call or test any time. I mean it. we we'll always be here for you. And please say you'll join our wedding party. It wouldn't be complete without you. That's so sweet. Shame to you, Mass. I'm here if you need anything. Oh, I knew I wanted to float your way was perhaps sustaining the legacy to a multi-year plan. We could even host master classes and build something special here. I don't want you to feel obligated, but I think it would be an excellent positive step. What do you think? Mass! Chloe yelled through the bathroom window. I'm good and clean! And I'm an eating machine! Come join me! Wow, the, the bond responded. Tell Chloe I said hi. Seems like I should leave you to, to it. I'm so sorry you had to heal that, Victoria. We can talk about the... It's as past in next week. Master Zabarin was only struggled because of her excitement for what was about to happen in the tub. No, it's okay. Seems like you girls all have some uh things to work out. Master surprised herself by la while giggling. So we we'll leave see her the girl on the other end of the line laughing along with her. I feel a lot better, Mass. Thank you. And and my answer is yes, the wedding sounds like a lot of fun. Great, I look forward to it. I'm so glad we're friends. Can't wait to see you next week. Au revoir. Massa and the call and knew the place in for her former enemy. As heartwarming of experience as it was to connect with Victoria, and as tired as she was, from the long weekend, a new sighting took over of energy from an old through Master's body. The summit growled from hunger and working over at the coin was on the dishwasher. It is as not had to be made. Come in, she yelled to the goddess waiting her in the tub. They tore off her clothes and joined the girl. Like nothing else existed in the world, the soon to be married couple and enjoyed a magic time together with bubbles, laughter, and an explosion of love. They do the chapter. That's chapter, at least. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, sorry about that. I, I'm up, I'm basically recording, editing, and uploading all at the same time for these chapters because I'm finishing this story today. I want to. I'm, I'm in a good mood, so I'm doing it. Oh, I'm going to get back to it because I... Notice, yeah, we're gonna get back to it now. Next chapter is soon. Hi, how are you, everyone? This is Emma 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video because you know, I, I really did enjoy making it, but. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time. Bye.